getting a briefing before we set off. Also a medical check before we leave. Uh, you know, just ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Mark. Uh, looking at me. One, two, Come on, one. three. Third time better. <laughs> Into here, basically. Basically, given given to us by the uh, U.S. Air Force. The U.S. Air Force guys brought these over. They do uh, very strong. You know, give, give the uh, boys as much protection as they needed. Um, and you know, it's, it's quite light, really. Um, to chamber three, simply because of the conditions. Um, and when you're carrying these, you'll understand. Water came through from the south. Once it joined, that's when the water came out. Boys were. The boys are down here, which is uh, 0.3 kilometers hmm. from from the dive start point here. Yeah. So. Um, that's, that's very quickly what happened. Careful, careful, careful. You made it. The morning of the, well, very early morning of the 28th of June, this was totally sumped, it was flooded. To go through, but it was, it was obviously too deep as you can see. Um, and we put we fixed ropes up, up here in the top so we could actually pull our way through. Um, but obviously, during nearly four days of very little rain, Mother Nature actually helped the rescue because if it had continued raining, <coughs> there was absolutely no way or, or do. Water like a washing machine. Yes, uh, yeah. Mm. The exit. The exit is actually under there. All oh, right. Yeah. 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 It's the exit. So it's a very small exit. Yeah. So far as the, the water conditions were, this this was the worst area. Mm. Yeah, sir. Yeah, but yeah. you know, uh, mud. You may want a photograph of all this, but this or high line or whatever you want to call it. What was that? The oh, take the the, the, heavy the, the kids. The no, no, the kids were not line. on this. This was just flew. Chamber, chamber two, heavy equipment on like the air cylinders, one by one, still works, mm. still all works after five. Mm. Mm -hmm. That all worked pretty well because actually taking the equipment up. Remember this for part of the what people need to understand and learn. Oh, sen yeah? uh, sense the actual first tip line is you've got it here. Yeah? You see the first tip line here? No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Over there, and anyway, they'd be brought here, taken off. Here there would normally be at least four or five people, two two uh, Air Force, uh, US Air Force guys who were both paramedics. Yes. The boys were well looked after from chamber three all the way out. They were checked regularly for temperature, make sure they're not um, waking up. What they were in danger of was hypothermia. hypothermia. Yeah. So once they'd been checked over, they were put onto the zip line here. <coughs> and we used to cross. 
Um, as you can see, quite, quite a journey. When Lack and myself and John and Rick and Rob arrived here on the evening of the 27th of June, around about 11 o'clock at night, it was really noisy. Because our, our aim was to get into chamber three just to see what the conditions were like mm. at what became the, the dive start point. Got, got out with just a minimum of airspace, um, and that was it. That's what we've come through was totally flooded. Mm -hmm. It was full flood conditions. It, it was really the start of the main uh, entrance was already flooded as well. Electric cables and things here from the rescue, I guess. Quite a bit of it. Normal and, and you know, my business became uh, distance. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we have you know, with Zoom and my.